the type of people you see gathering in, in a lot of coffee shops in the Dublins, you know, it's not my impression of a New York cafe where everybody's sitting there on a Mac writing their next screenplay. Irish people, when they come to our cafe, are generally really, really social. You know, there's, there's a lot of shouting. Dublin cafes are usually really, really noisy, and, and I love that. So what is the the base of the sleep drink at the moment? Obviously you still have to yeah. do a bit of work on it. Yeah, but. yeah, yeah, so sure. Like, I mean, I mean, you can get carried away with it, but I definitely want to have something special, you know? I think it's going to be inspired by a pint of Guinness. One of the things Ireland is most famous for is pint of Guinness. Mm -hmm. So not not a sleep drink that big, but you know, something quite small. Like visually it's going to look visually, like Visually, yeah, yeah. So very visually, I'm hoping to replicate a pint of Guinness. And, okay. Uh, so the sort of black like, is obviously the coffee. Black is coffee and a couple of other small things. Is Not there any much. flavor notes coming from a Guinness? Um, there will be, so or it's going to be- poking too much? No, the coffee itself is going to be like quite rich, and uh, like really, really syrupy and heavy. So like a lot of berry notes, uh, even some fig notes in there maybe. There's something nice as well about the symbolism of how Traditionally in society in like Dublin in Ireland, yeah, yeah. we socialise in the pub and with alcohol, and there yeah. is a change. Where like people going away, or just I don't know what it is, people growing up or, or changing their interests. And now like a lot of socialising is done in a cafe, yeah, without sure. alcohol. And there's some kind of nice connection there between like your yeah. coffee looking like a thing that is traditionally what we socialise around, which is yeah. the pint of Guinness. I'm, I'm kind of waiting for minus that. Minus the alcohol. Yeah, yeah, minus the alcohol. I hope. But it, it is nice to see that, you know, that slow movement away from the pub. To, so you're to replacing, a culture. replacing the Guinness with like a little coffee Guinness. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Much healthier. Sign <laughs> locally sourced. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, so it's, it's like, come on full circle. My signature drink this year, I'm nicknaming the Black Cappuccino. Being Irish, you know, the epitome of Irishness is that black drink with the white head on top. Um, you know, if I can bring obviously a lot smaller version of something that looks like that to, to Worlds this year, um, that's going to be great.